Hi guys, this is Craig here from Revival Retro Events and I just thought I'd post a quick video to give you uh, our roundup of last weekend's Revival Winter Warmer 2015. Um, it's all done, all wrapped up, everyone's gear uh, sent back now. It was, uh, I think it was a world record uh, pack up. It took just under two hours to get everything bundled up and ready to go but unfortunately it took until the following morning to get all the machines back. So, um, you know, congratulations to the team. We, we, everyone really pulled the finger out and pulled the weight and got that done. Now, um, after every event, there's always a little bit of feedback, and there's, I'm sure there's some more to come and a lot more videos. Uh, but I just thought I'd address some of the main things that we picked up on and that other people have mentioned, and just try and address those now. Uh, we, we always listen to feedback, we always try and get things ready for the next events and try and improve things if we can. Uh, it, it's very much a joint effort, there's a lot of people involved and so anything we can do to help you guys out and make your next experience, your next visit a lot better, we will do. So I'm just going to be referring to my notes, so don't mind me. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who came and bought a ticket. The attendance was huge. We originally intended to get about 300 to 400 people at this event and in the end we had six to seven hundred so we far exceeded our expectations uh, this event was always intended to be our comeback event after over a year's absence so we were never sure how it was going to go but we were hoping the interest was still there so people would support us and hopefully we could gather the funds to create another large event next year uh, that's still our intention and it's gone well so at the moment we're in good stead to be able to do that and hopefully there'll be an announcement soon about what our plans are. So about, let's get the, the bad air of the way first. Now a lot of people address the parking at the event. Uh, this was because, the like I say, we, we wanted 300 to 400 people at the event and we never expected it to reach that amount. Um, we had contingencies in place um, and a lot of people came by car who we thought may come by rail or by other means. We had enough parking laid out, we had marshals out there and the venue themselves actually had overflow parking. They've got two overflow car parks uh, but the one was being resurfaced which we hope will be ready for the event. However, as everyone knows, we've had some record storms in the last few weeks which have kind of put a kibosh on that. And unfortunately, it wasn't ready in time for the event. So the only overflow parking we had was a field which hasn't been redeveloped yet, but which is in the process of. Uh, Brookfields are in process of converting themselves into being a sort of event centre. So there'll be a lot more work done on that site in the future. There'll be bigger car parks, there'll be more buildings converted, and hopefully they'll address that for next time. We would like to go back there, but obviously it's as and when they get that work done, and hopefully if it meets our demands. Okay, the ticketing system. Now, the ticketing system, there were a lot of people who um, were a bit confused initially. Everybody would have had a receipt email. Um, there were a few that didn't for whatever reason. It's important that when you order your tickets, you put in all the correct details, as you would for any other event. It might only be a small, a smaller event and not on the scale of the things you'd see at the big convention centres, but it's just as important all your details are correct so we can send you your receipts, we can contact you if there's any problems and we can address things on the door when needed. Thankfully the new uh, QR code scanning system worked very well and we were able to get everybody in the door quickly. Um, not everyone turned up at once like they do to the other events, so time is yet to tell if it would cope with a lot of people coming in at once, but hopefully it will do. Um, the next thing, the food, there was a little bit of a wait. Again, as with all, all venues, we kind of catch them off guard when a lot of people come at once for food, but the food was reasonably priced, and even though there was a fair wait for everything, the food on the whole was generally pretty good, and um, that they addressed it for the Sunday. For those of you who had weekend tickets, you will have discovered that it was a lot better on the Sunday, and hopefully next time they'll be able to address that. Whenever you do a new venue, there is always a learning curve uh, for them and for us and you just it's one of those things that you can't kind of control you can advise them as best you can and just see how they cope you have to have a bit of faith in them and you have to give them a little bit of leeway they're, they're a very small you know a very small family who kind of runs it all they they've got the staff available if needs be they're used to doing slightly larger events but they've never seen anything on the scale of what we do now one thing i've seen a lot of is people commenting about 
the scale of the event and the content. Now, it, it's it's a little bit disheartening in a way to read, but I can kind of understand. People have been waiting for our next major event. This was never intended to be our next major event. This was supposed to be our comeback event, and it was named the Winter Warmer because that's all it is. It is just a warm up for the main event next year. We had to do this uh, at minimal cost and budget, which which is why we had to trim out a lot of the fringe things like the large volume of traders, like the the, the talk panels and the Q and As because there was, there was just no scope for that this year, there was no budget for it and uh, we had to rebuild the team for pretty much from scratch. A lot of the people are involved now who used to be involved before but we had to, uh, I suppose, um, put the foothold in and, and reaffirm ourselves before we were to go large scale again. It's a lot of effort to even put on an event of this scale so going up to the several thousand people that we used to deal with um, after such a long period out wasn't really an option. Um, the plan is to go back full scale next year and I'm just I'm glad that the majority of people appreciated this event for what it was. It was only ever supposed to be about the games. The traders are necessary to fund the event as everybody knows who's done an event before and I think we chose the, the right uh, mix of traders to be able to come in and ensure there was something nice to buy but it was never going to be a full marketplace and you've got to account for the, how the floor space is used. Uh, we did get a lot of praise about the way the floor space was used and thankfully we had the, we had the whole venue. The mezzanine floor upstairs was a welcome addition and we, we made the best use of that as a multiplayer and the chill out zone up there which is where a lot of people have taken their photos and video footage and I'm very happy they did because it showed the best of the event and showed that the floor plan flowed. They have to be planned with some precision and I think we got the, a good mix. Even when he got it his fullest at lunchtime on Saturday it was never bursting at the seams and people were never pushing and shoving through the crowds even if we were shoulder to shoulder at times so uh, thank you to everyone who appreciated that and to those of you who want more, more of, of that you know if that's the worst comment that's come out of this weekend that they want more of the same then I, th I think we can be kind of pleased with ourselves that we pulled off what we did in such a, such a small floor space you know we managed to get arcades and pinball machines in which is something you never see at small events uh, that was a hell of a challenge. I actually overbooked us on everything to make sure that if there were breakdowns and some things were missing that nobody would be missing out and not many people noticed but we did drop a lot of arcade machines. Um, as you know people kind of raise an eyebrow when they see things breaking down or their favourite game is broken when they get there. You have to appreciate the age of these machines um, we managed to get some very rare consoles and stuff there, which is something we didn't think we'd be able to do. RCM helped us out with some of the rarest stuff like the Virtual Boy, um, and some of our collectors had some prized pieces in their collections, and you know they were very well received. Um, but when it comes to the arcade machines and that, they take a lot more maintenance. Uh, they're going to break down, and when you're putting them under the stress of an event hall where it gets hot, there's always going to be issues. So you have to bear with us and you have to understand that if something was broken it's not always feasible to be able to repair it we can't do things on the repair floor oh, sorry on the event floor in, in the way it repairs uh, for the safety of the guests um, but I think there was a great selection there we had some real classics and I think everyone was very happy with the selection we had on offer the pinballs as well that's something that's hard to come by and they were very very well received and we managed to make good use of those with our mini pinball alley down the side uh, and with the use, utilizing the dance floor as best we could. Okay, so the next thing is about the location of the venue. Now the location's kind of hard to find if you've not been there before, but we made every effort we could to help people be able to find it. The problem was is not everyone was following the advice we had put out there uh, with them in terms of the maps and only searching by the postcode and heading for the M6 Junction 11. Uh, you can't rely on Google services and things like that, but I have informed the venue and they're going to be updating the um, their registry uh, as far as their business goes and the exact location with Google Maps and some of the uh, sat-nav providers to try and help people if we go there next time. They are converting themselves into a larger event venue uh, for next year so hopefully they will get that sorted and be able to allow more people to find them who haven't been there before. Um, so that will be that sorted. We'll try and signpost it as best we can if we do return there and everybody uh, shouldn't have the problems they had this time round. 
Now, as far as future plans go, this was the winter warmer, as we said, and for next year we have plans to go grand again. Yes, we're coming back in 2016 with the main revival 2016 uh, sometime in the summer. We're not sure of the exact venue yet, but it will be in Wolverhampton. Um, and we have grander plans to do more fringe things, more of the things you love, more of the rarities, more of the talks. We've partnered up with more people and many of the same team will be involved again. So you can guarantee the same atmosphere and much more of the things you love will be there. Not only that, but we are actually going a little bit grander and we're aiming for three major events next year. Those events are going to be um, straying from our usual hunting ground of the Midlands and we're going a little bit further north for our first event early in, early in 2016. I've already spoken to a few people about this and we may be going to a venue around Manchester and doing something with a little bit more of a competitive element. So hopefully that will be able to capture some people from the north who are maybe not willing to travel as far. Uh, and some people who've got a, a bit more than just a casual gaming interest, let's say. Um, it will be around the Revival Mini flavour, but will incorporate some more competitive gaming. Not only that, but we'll also be catering to our southern friends. Uh, we have plans to do an event very similar to this, but a little further south. So if you're in the London area or you're even from the, uh, the southern counties, um, such as Devon and Cornwall, shouldn't be too much of a trek over. We'll be doing something, I suppose, south, uh, south central, I suppose is the best way to put it. Um, and it will be very similar to this. It'll be mainly about the game. So next year, we're gonna be doing a little something for everybody, if everything goes to plan. It's very early days yet, but we will be announcing tickets for the first event of those very soon, but we just gotta take a breather after this. Um, I suppose I better sign off just by saying there'll be more to come. We hope you enjoyed the event. If you took photos and videos, please share them. If you do a podcast, if you've uh, taken any kind of footage, please share it with us. We will be back next year. Announcements will be coming soon. So stay posted to our social media feeds. Follow us on Twitter. Keep on our YouTube page. And if you've got any comments or suggestions or want to get involved with our future events, just hit me up directly. You can email inquiries at revivalretroevents.com. You can email me at turnercades at hotmail.co.uk. Uh, you can give me a call. You can hit me up on social media. Speak to any of our team. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to all them for uh, getting involved again, getting stuck in when needed, and doing this um, at, at no cost to, well, basically for nothing. Everybody who's involved in this is a volunteer and the most they'll get out of it is a point. So we hope everyone's grateful for the efforts they put in in their own personal time. You know, the majority of people have got full-time jobs and it's a hard thing to manage. Uh, and I want to say thank you to you guys for buying the tickets. We've had uh, a tough 12 months, but you've shown your support and overwhelmed us this time. And I'm really glad you enjoyed last weekend's event. Um, and hopefully we'll see you all in 2016. Bigger, better and with more retro gaming goodness.